All right, we're here with head coach Everick Sullivan. Coach Sully, quick uh, recap of your 69-65 uh, win over Mars Hill today. Yeah, it, it was a tough game. Um, you know, the circumstances are what they are, but we're happy to, to be able to get a get a road win um, against a resilient team. That was their first home game. Um, they're fighting to get in the win column. Um, but, you know, like, again, like, like I said before, it's very – uh, we're very fortunate to even be playing today. I think we're one of the very few teams that are playing, but um, we'll take the win. We'll take the win. It was not a pretty game. It was not a pretty game by any means. Um, and we know we did not play the best of our abilities, but a win is a win. Yeah, talk us through a little bit. I know uh, it couldn't have been a great feeling as a head coach. You see, you know, one of the best players in the league in the region, RJ Gunn, pick up his fourth foul. Uh, we're looking at a, a seven-point deficit second half um what does it say about the resiliency of your team to, to come back without one of the better players in the, in the region well that's that's who we are that's what you know we, we've talked about that having that resiliency being able to handle storms weather storms um you know i don't think any of our guys for the most part played very well um we just we have not our, our rhythm is not consistent it is like a four minute stretch a three minute stretch we're able to get a lead a 10 to 12 I mean, we've got some really open shots uh, that we're capable of making. But sometimes I think if you think long run, in the long run, in the end, winning in different ways, winning without your best player, other guys stepping up will make you a better team uh, when it's all said and done. So, RJ, yeah, we needed him. We needed those 18, uh, 20 points that he, he usually gives us. Uh, but we also needed, you know, a better performance from everybody. But, you know, we can go back and look at the film and talk about it, but we'll we'll take the win and – We'll come back and get ready to be a little bit better in the, in the next game. I think one of the things that makes you guys so dynamic is is you also have a second lethal scoring option in, in Darius Simmons, DK Simmons. He stepped up in the second half. He gave you guys 21 points, 12 in the second half, a lot of uh, getting to the line down down the stretch. Um, you know, what, what does that do to defenses when you have two guys that can really hurt you on the offensive end like we do? Yeah, no, we, we have a, a definite uh, a one-two punch. That's probably, uh, if not one of the best in the league, uh, and they can they they don't have to take a lot of attempts to get their points either because they get they can manufacture those points in different ways. Uh, but I I'm encouraging them to continue to be all around players, uh, making the right play, not forcing it, um, and they've done that for the most part. We needed DK in the second half. He took advantage of some mismatches. He got downhill, got into the paint. Um, he didn't really get a chance to to really. Uh, uh, stretch the defense with our three-point game to really open up the line, open up the lane. Um, they played some good gap defense, so it was a little bit tough for us to drive. But guys just put their head down, got in there, got to the line, made the referee call it. We needed it. We, we did a pretty good job of shooting free throws from the line, uh, but we did not shoot it well from three. But we did, I think, get around 30 free throw attempts, which we, you need those when you got to win like this. Yeah, he went 26 for 33 from the line. Also, Mason Hawk stepped up late, hit some big free throws, finished with 15 points. Davion had 11. So you guys got a lot of a lot of scoring threats. Um, just looking at the box score real quick, it looks like um, Armand uh, Muldrow and Tim Steele each played 20 plus minutes. Um, looks like they're as freshmen starting to to step up into some bigger roles. Yeah, well, we had to go without uh, one of our guys tonight. Zim wasn't able to, to participate. He had some family. Uh, kind of emergency situation going on. So we miss Zim's ability to drive and also finish. So, we, you know, we're continuing to find things out. I think that's the challenge as, as a coaching staff is you got all these new guys, you got these players, and you're trying to figure out what role will each one of them, uh, you know, play. You know, how can they help us win? They've done, they've done their part by accepting whatever we've given them or whatever we asked from them. Uh, but we're just trying to figure it out. But Tim was huge for us. Got some big rebounds, made some really good passes. Armand came in, played stellar defense. Um, he was really solid, uh, made a shot in the first half. Uh, but but it was this was what you call a team effort. You know, I, I hate to single out anybody in, with a win like this because it, it, that box score would not show you anything. It would be nothing to look at and jump up and down about. But when you look at the final totals from each team, you saw Lenore Ryan had to win. And that's that's what more, what's most important for us. At the end of the day, you're two and zero. So you're ending 2022 and zero. You guys are shutting it down till uh, January second. You pick back up. Uh, I'm sorry, after the New Year's, you pick back up. So uh, enjoy the break, enjoy some time, and uh, enjoy the holidays. Yeah, thanks, Jay Z. You too. Enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas and go Bears.